Hi, I'm Darren Potter, the Development Director at Dovetail Games, and this is a very brief video tutorial for casting, reeling and netting in Dovetail Games Eurofishing. So one of the first things to check if you're uh, having difficulties casting is to make sure that your game settings are actually optimal. The game likes to run at 30 frames a second. Um, if it drops below that frame rate, then you generally will find difficulties in casting. So the easiest way to do that is to go into your settings uh, and just check to see what your settings are. If you're having trouble, try dropping down this graphics preset uh, to maybe medium and try again and just have a play around until you get a consistent frame rate that you feel like you're, you know, it's not going to be hindering your progress. The second thing to be checked it would be to look at your screen rest. If you're still having no joy with just playing with the graphics presets, then take a look at your screen resolution, maybe try dropping that down. And in that way, you'll definitely be able to fine tune the game so it runs at the correct frame rate. Another thing to look at with uh, your casting is also to make sure that your mass settings are, are set up for, for you to feel that they, you know, it's the right speed. So easiest way to do that is have a play. If you're not quite casting where you want to get to, if you go into your game, uh, sorry, your control settings, in the game, you have a slider here for your mouse sensitivity. Now, if you if you push the mouse sensitivity all the way to the top, then your mouse you're, you're, you're going to cast really quickly. But you're probably not going to have so much control there. So tweak around with that. Have a little play. Mine's always on the on the actual slowest input I can have. So the important things to remember really with casting in the game are um, you need to make very smooth and very precise movements, which you can build up skill with over time. All I need to do to be able to cast is hold down my right mouse button and I'll go into casting mode and then, as you can see, I get free movement. If I pull the, the mouse all the way back, you can find the extent of your range of motion and then just by practicing pushing it all the way forward to see where the actual, the fullest extent of, of, being cast, of being able to cast is. So, and then just take a practice between those two values. Now, the thing we found is the perfect release window Kind of, it depends slightly on the speed that you're casting at, but actually, realistically speaking, it's generally between about half past 12 and, and 2 o'clock on a clock, if you imagine a clock. So realistically, you want to be casting around about here um, to be able to cast as far as you possibly can. So let's have a couple of relatively slow practice swings. So there, you can see, I'm just releasing my right finger on the mouse when roughly the rod gets to around about like between 12.30, what, it was 12.30 and 2-ish. Let's try that again, and there you go. You can see a nice flat uh, trajectory for the bait to follow. So if I, were to, if I were to release too early, what generally would happen is it would go high up in the air, as you can see, and then plop down relatively close to me. Now that can be good for um, longer rods, which have inherently more power and allow you to cast further. It means that you can target areas a bit more spe specifically. But really, again, you really want to be trying to hit that perfect op optimum timing. Now, if I was to release too, too late, what you generally find is bait will just go relatively close to me down in front. So to sum up for assistance with casting, you just need to make sure your controls are roughly set to give you an optimal frame rate, so um, that's nice and smooth. Uh, your mouse is you know, the right sensitivity for you, so you can have a play with that, find the right sensitivity. Generally, if you're not casting far enough, try increasing the sensitivity and that will help. And then the release window is generally between around 12.31 and 2 o'clock. And if you're using a gamepad to play the game, then exactly the same principles apply. It's just obviously the left stick for casting and the right trigger is your release for uh, the cast. So, you know, play with those settings and see how you get on. So, we have a fish on the line. Let's talk a little bit more about reeling. So, the important factors to think about here with reeling is it's all about this tension meter. And essentially, what you want to do is apply as much tension as you can to the fish and just apply pressure to the fish but not so much pressure that actually you're into the red and basically having so much tension on the line that the fish is more likely to throw the hook. So realistically what you want to do is you, there's two ways to reduce your tension or increase your tension. You can either pull up or drop your rod just by moving your mouse and that basically will assist with you know, raising or lowering the tension. Or you can also play with this clutch system here. So if you move your mouse wheel up, you can then increase or decrease your tension that way. Really, what you want to do is keep a close eye on your tension meter in order to get the optimum tension to actually play the fish, tire it out, and then be able to land that fish. 
So we have a fish on our line, and the idea is I'm playing the fish now in order to net it. So with netting, really, the biggest tip that we can give you is the fish needs to be in a submissive state um, when you're trying to net it. So to get it into a submissive state, you do what you call play. You're playing the fish, you're allowing it to make runs, um, you're allowing it to, to tire itself out effectively. So you play with the tension meter with your clutch to ensure that you know it's, it's, it's tiring itself out but not putting so much tension on the line that you can lose the fish. So let's try and get that. So it looks like, here you go, so now this fish is in a submissive state. You can see it comes to the surface of the water and it's ready to be to be uh, netted. Once I've got the fish in a submissive state and I'm ready to net, I press the net key on the keyboard is E and on the gamepad is X. And then I'm using uh, my left hand to control the net. The way I find best to work is I keep the rod in one fixed position and then I'm using the net to guide the fish into it. I'm not trying to do both at once. That complicates matters and you can lose fish. So in this tutorial we've covered casting, uh, reeling and netting. Now all those things actually are available in our in-game tutorial. So if you go to the academy from the main menu on the, in the game, you can actually do, use the academy to teach you exactly these techniques I've been showing you today. So hope this has been helpful for you. Um, we'll look to do more of these uh, down the line as we get more and more features in the game.